Hello and uh, welcome to something slightly different from me. I'm going to do our five easy, low mobility, close to the car locations in the Lake District. Uh, we're up for the weekend, we're having a walk around and the sun's really bright today so we can't do a lot of photography wise but I'm going to take you and take you to five different locations all that have make fantastic photographs that you really must visit. So the first one is here now, where we are now. We are at uh, Castle Rigstone Circle. We've parked up, we're in the bus. Mrs C is actually in there. I know you can't see her because it's pitch black. And we've both got microphones, so we can do a bit of talking. So I'm going to take you over there and have a look. You take your Does camera. Be, yeah, I need my tripod as well. Is that back? Do you need a tripod for this? Uh, pro nah. Probably not, probably actually. Not. No. I'm just going to take my camera with me, just so I can take a snapshot for you and show you what's there. Uh, I'm going to leave the roof up. Look, we've had the roof up this morning. It's been gorgeous this morning. But this is how close we are. This is the uh, this is parking, and this is the gate. That's as close as you can possibly get to the gate. Two hands. There we go. And the stone circle is there. That's it. So, information bump board. Uh, where are we? Four and a half thousand, Four and years, a half old, thousand roughly. years old. Four and a half thousand years old. Probably important to, to say as well, it's just off, if you go along the A66 heading towards Grasmere, yep. really well signposted, um, obviously the brown signs, really well posted, you'll find it no problem at all. But it does get busy for it does parking get busy, down yeah. there, it's there's a, lay -by. a few lay-bys. It's a lay-by, it's big enough to put, or easy, a dozen vehicles in it. Um, just swapping sides to do it's easier to hold this hand. Um, yeah, but it's dead easy location, nice and simple. Sunrise or sunset location, I think, as well. And you can see it's flat grass. There's no rocks and boulders and gravel to get over. So it's flat grass. So you should be all right with a decent sized wheelchair to get here. So we're gonna spin you around now, show you what's here, and uh, you can make the most of it. There's actually people sitting in the stone circle. So if you wanna take a picture, you're gonna to have to hide them behind a rock. So as you can see, this is our circle. It's a big circle as well, very, very nice. This morning I was here and the sun came up that side, which is not ideal because you get these horrible trees in the way. Um, but it's nice, I've actually seen the mist down in this valley down there, shooting down, so you get the mist in the low-lying areas. And this morning I was hoping we were getting some sunlight up here, but it just didn't happen. But yeah, it's a big, big circle. So these are not ideal conditions to be taking photographs with a bright, bright sunlight. You're getting uh, really harsh shadows, but uh, I'm gonna take a couple while I'm here anyway, just to put up on the screen and show you. Two second timer. The sky's really nice actually. It's got real nice deep blue to it with these nice wispy stratus clouds. So that looks quite good, but the shadows are really quite sharp. Denise has gone around this side, so we'll go around and see her. She's having to look down here. And what she's gonna have to remember is now, with two microphones, whatever she does, burping and picking her nose and stuff like that, you're gonna be able to hear everything she does. I don't burp, <laughs> just breathing. <so> you <laughs> <laughs> Quite like those, that great big chunky stone there. Mm. And I'll get up close to them as well, you can see how big these are. They're pretty, pretty impressive stones, they're pretty big. <laughs> right enough of this place. So this is Castle Rig Stone Circle. I'm going to put the what three words up in the corner, exactly where we're stood now. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next location. There we go, we've got the master at work just before we leave. She's just seen me take a picture this direction. Now she's got down in nice and low with a wide angle lens, shooting this big tall rock. Quite like that. And it's massively wispy stratus clouds running through the sky. So there you go. It's actually a bit dark. We've got a couple of nice images here and uh, just chatting to this family as well, which is pretty good. So we are definitely this way going to the next location.
We are now at our next location. Just got to oh, watch, watch the road back. because we're walking down the road for this one. Now my the van is parked just the other side of that gate. We just there is a cattle grid there, but you've got a big mm. double gate to come through. Now this one is not actually wheelchair accessible. It's only less than 100 yards from the car park, so it's very, very close. It is a slope. As you can see, we're walking down the slope and you do have to cross the road. And I'm going to show you where we're going. There's actually people on the jetty at the moment. We're actually at Ashnesh, Ashnesh, Ashnesh. Jetty. And it looks like a lot of trees have been taken down because all, that, <coughs> all that's new from the last time I was here. And to be honest, last time I was here was two or three years ago, wasn't it? Uh, quite a number of years ago, to be honest. Definitely a long time ago. Right, so we've crossed the road and you've got to make your way through this tiny little gap here and down these steps. So it doesn't become quite so accessible as the other locations, um, but it's a perfect little location for a photograph and I'll show you why. This is it, Ashnes, Ashnes Jetty. And uh, this, I've shot this a couple of times in the past. I'm going to take a quick snapshot for you now. Um, but that's the photograph, that's your jetty. The jetty is here for the Derwent Water steamer and it comes across different parts on the, on the lake. And this is where it comes. If you stand at the end of the lake, this is where the boat comes no, it's, across. It's all right. It. <laughs> we um, just, yeah. so the, the tide or the water level is really low at the moment. This is normally underwater here. So different, no, different types of water level, different heights. <clears throat> um, you get a different, obviously a different scene on the image. But yeah, really cool little location. We're going to get a couple of quick snapshots of it as well while we're here. I'll take one from this side where it's in shadow and I'll take one from the other side because the clouds there. are still there. Say again. Little midges. There are a lot of midges as well. So. So I've been here two minutes, gathered my thoughts a little bit, and I've just realised this has been replaced. This is not the original jetty. The original jetty used to have a little step on the end, like a little square box, which you'll see in a photograph, I put it up. And it also used to run from there, right the way up to here. Those posts used to be at the front, and it used to run all the way down. Now it's concrete, and that is a new concrete path with a small piece of jetty on the bottom. That is not as appealing as what it used to be. So it has changed, I thought it had, and I think all that wall line has changed as well. So there's been a lot of work down here by the looks of it over the last couple of years. Yeah, that's not so it's not that. quite as appealing. Now if you want to, if you are okay on your feet and you can do a bit of walking, if you follow the coast round, and I think I can just see them from where I am, there are two, just about there, there are two black dots, and those two little black dots are the Millennium Stone, and it's a stone that's split into two and you get some beautiful shots of it up there on water. So you can actually make your way all the way around underneath these trees, especially when it's a low water level like this, it makes your way all the way around to that. Um, it's sort of separated. There is a pathway further down that you can get from the road and come across from the other car park. So there's another little location up there as a bit of a bonus for you. But yeah, guy is going out on his canoe now for a bit of a paddle. In all fairness, that looks like quite a nice idea to do that today. The conditions are beautiful. I haven't got a filter ring, have I, for this wide angle? I don't know, what was that? I haven't got a filter ring for this wide angle. A filter ring for that wide angle? You should have. Yeah, well, you just might have to have a, to have a dig in you. That, but it's not. You might have to have a dig in your packet. I thought I bought you one the other day. She's looking for a filter ring now. She wants to try a longer exposure. Let's see what she comes up with, eh? Gonna take a shot. Uh, I've gone for a, a vertical shot just to show you the jetty and I'm liking the clouds in the sky so I've gone down quite low and I'm trying to keep a little bit of separation on these rocks at the bottom, get a little bit of water but made mainly getting those wispy clouds in the top. The jetty is in the middle of the shot but it doesn't matter. It works quite nice because then wispy clouds up there look really cool. So I'm gonna go around the other side and get the light on the jetty this time and uh, less reflection, because we've got a nice reflection from this side. If I get one with a reflection in, you can see that it works pretty well. So we are done here. Ashnesh Bridge 
Ashness Jetty, and I'm now going to take you up to Ashness Bridge. So we're going to go back up to the road, back up to the car, and we'll head about half a mile up the road and we'll find that one. So yeah, this one, Ashness Jetty, well worth a look. See you in a minute. We are now at our next location. This is the Ashnesh, Ashness Bridge. Parking is behind me. It's a National Trust car park. And uh, you've got a road to lead you down. But again, if you've got an off-road chair, you might be able to get across this, but it's a bit more cobbly. This is what you've got to walk across to actually get up to the top side of the bridge. But you can actually get down to the bottom side of the bridge uh, very easily, as you can see. There's your bridge there. This is another famous classic shot. Get up, you can get up to the edge of the shoreline there and shoot down that direction. So we'll take you up and have a look at this one. Again, I know when I started this, I was saying these are sort of all chair accessible, but they're not quite, um, but they are very close. So if it's six or one and a half a dozen in the other, you'll be fine. Now there's not a lot of water. There really isn't a lot of water, um, even though it's only April. There's not a lot of water at all around at the moment. We've not had a lot of rain, so it's looking pretty bare. But there's your bridge, just here. And that's Skiddle, I think it is. Skiddle. Skiddle up in that top bit there. So yeah, this is this is your classic shot. So we'll, put, we'll get a recce shot while we're here, just so I can put it on the frame and we'll get ourselves a little selfie on the bridge as well. It's away panicky because it's rocks. <laughs> Oh. Don't step on the slippy bits. I know exactly, that's the bit that worries me. Oh, She's determined yeah. she wants to get a photograph yeah. of the water leading down. And there's not a lot of water, but I do love this pool of water just here. So I'm going to see if I can get down a little bit closer. Right, battery just popped out then. Yeah, just a little bit closer to the edge so that I can try and get a bit of a shot there. Just put that's skiddle the at the top there and this little bit of flowing water coming through. So if I can get a bit of a shot there, I'll get one. Go up that side and I want to come back onto that flat piece of rock there. Right. You're That's going me round. done. I'm going You're not going to step over that? No, that's way... You, you can you step know? over there. It's tiny. This is me you're talking about. Don't you remember the last time I tried to step over there? Just step over the rocks and just step across. <laughs> I'm going round. Come on. Do you want me to help you? Okay. Do you want me to help you? I, you, you know what happened the last time I stepped <laughs> over rocks? I slipped and cut my head right, open. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'll help you across. No, I'm going to walk round. Oh, go on then. I'm going to walk round. <laughs> Never right, is it? Bless. She's going round. Right, I'm going to set this little shot up and just try and get a shot. Don't I'm just going to do a straight shot. Place. I'm going to do no Do what? Don't you pinch my spot when I'm... <laughs> Would I pinch your spot? Right, I'm going to get a shot here. I've not got no filters with me. It's literally just uh, a straight shot. A straight shot of the pool. This is a professional's action. She's got a tripod out, she's got filters and out. No, I haven't got any filters she's, yet. And she's looking down, down towards the bridge. I've just taken one in a vertical coming down here. So I've got this, and I just cut off the sky just quite close to the top of Skidor there, um, just to eliminate some of this blue sky. Just have that in the background green trees, bridge, and a bit of water flow leading from the bottom. I am done in this little location, showing you this one. Like I say, it's a very easy, easy little location to get to. Obviously preparing that the rocks are slippy when they're wet. Um, I've stepped over the other side of the river. Denise is just packing her stuff away. So any breathing you can hear is her on the other microphone. It's quite weird getting used to having two microphones and knowing that you're both active at the same time. But yeah, there's our bridge. 
and uh, yeah, you definitely need more water and a nice, maybe a sunset sky, a nice burning sky above it or something different. Autumn colours maybe, so there's lots of conditions. So we're going to make our way back up to the car park, which is just there. You can just see the car park just up there. Uh, we're going to have a brew and then I'm going to head a little bit further up the road, another mile up the road to show you the next point. And uh, this one's quite a nice little one as well. So these three locations are very, very close together. Right, so we have just got to our next location. And like I say, it was only just up the road. And this is a really popular one. So you're always best to be here Am first thing in the morning. Oh, not for, I don't know how you on. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, best thing to get here really early or really late in the evening. Otherwise, you're going to struggle to get a piece place all to yourself. But yeah, car park. It's another pay and display car park, uh, National Trust. So if you remember, it's a freebie. So I'm still going to take you over here. This is another nice and simple one, dead close to the car park and a fantastic view. <laughs> So this is surprise view, or the panoramic view, but it's definitely classed as a surprise view in the book. You get a great view down Derwent Water, you've got Skiddle up the top there, and then you've got opposite, you've got uh, Cat Bells, which is a great walk if you're interested in walking. Um, but yeah, for a location, for a nice simple one to get to. And I would say it's pretty much wheelchair access. It might just be a bit of a stumbling block with a little bit of a rock on the edge there, but uh, this is all gravel underfoot, so it's pretty easy to get to. But proper low location. I can just about see the top of the van just through there over the rocks. So it is literally two minutes and you're on this location and it is a fantastic spot. And sunset, you'll get a great view with the sun's dropping down and you get a nice side light. Um, it almost, also almost make probably a something rise as well with the sunlight coming from this side, lighting the side of the mountains that way. So absolutely fantastic view, well worth a view, morning or night or even midday. It's, it's just a cracking view to come and have a look at, with or without a photograph. Right, so this view just gives and gives and gives. I've just walked up a little bit higher now. Obviously, while walking up the little rocks and slopes, you get a slightly higher elevation on the place. Denise has gone for a walk up in front, um, up into the woods. But yeah, it really does open up and you get some pretty nice looking images. I mean, I love this rock next to this tree looking through. It really is fantastic. So yeah, definitely, definitely on my list of five low mobility locations to get to. I think we'll have to move on to the next one, but the next one might be tomorrow morning because it's the other side and we're heading down to old water for that one. So I'm gonna go and catch up with the wife. I'm just gonna soak all this up for a bit and uh, enjoy the moment. See you at the next location. We are at location number five and I've got to talk a bit quiet and this is first thing in the morning and we're at the boathouse. This is the boathouse on um, Oldswater and at the moment I'm stood by the road now. You can see just through that bush my van is there. So that's your parking location. You've got enough room for two cars maybe in a small lay-by. This is wheelchair accessible. You can come round here but you are on the road. This is the road. You can see that I'm stood with the yellow lines and uh, you're on a bit of a bend as well. But as long as you're careful and safe, this makes for a fantastic location. I've been here this morning, tried to shoot at sunrise. Not very good. Didn't get the light, but I've seen some amazing photographs of this. So my number five location is Oldswater Boathouse. 
dead easy to get to, very, very close to the parking area as long as you can park. There is a, a massive car park just a bit further up around there and uh, you get loads of cars on that, but it's obviously a bit further of a walk to come round. But if you get here in the morning and you can get in that lay-by, fantastic. So yeah, this is my location for number five. And uh, I might put a, a one more location in. Um, I know there's one place where you can get a man magnificent view of um, what I think is the Lake District classic shot over Windermere. So I might put a bonus image in for that one because it's definitely worth pulling up in a car park and definitely worth getting a photograph. Um, because it makes a beautiful panoramic and if I can find it in my archives like I've said before I'll stick an image up from my archives but uh, I'll put this morning's image up that I took here it's nothing fancy but it's a bit of a record of the location so yeah that's location number five got to be quiet this morning because people are still in bed and uh, the doors open on the boathouse so I don't want to wake anybody up so yeah we'll see you at our next secret location, not a secret location, we'll see you at our next um, extra bonus location unless I come across another one on the meantime because I'm out for the rest of the day anyway. But yeah, five locations, I hope you've enjoyed them and uh, if I can get around this bend without getting run over, I'm back at the van already. See you at the next one. All the way through this video, we've been going to locations. I've been showing you pictures and maps um, from where the locations are. And I just wanted to make a point that um, we've been using the uh, photographer's guidebooks to do this. Now I've got all of these books. Uh, I've got to know uh, Ellen Bones quite well. She had one of my images quite a few years ago now when she did the North, uh, the North Wales, the North Wales Snowdonia book, and one of my images was in there. And I just got chatting and. I now receive one of these books every time she brings out a new one. She just brought out a new one at the moment. It's the um, Norfolk Broads, Sussex, Sussex and Norfolk Broads, I think it is, um, which I will be doing a review for you and showing it. And she's also got an Iceland book, fantastic books. I know there are other guidebooks around, but I love these because I'm not great at reading and there's not a lot of reading to be done. It's mostly pictures and maps and directions. Um, and the pictures in here are fantastic and all the authors are the pictures you should be proud of your images because they're really really good so yeah I've been using the uh, Lake District one I just wanted to mention it on this video and uh, we're just having breakfast we're gonna go for our walk that I promised you earlier on and um, yeah I'm gonna give you an extra bonus location definitely so I'll see you later on right so this is my final freebie bonus location this isn't really a proper photographic location this is more of a car park with a ice cream van in it so you can always get yourself an ice cream when the day is quite nice like today um, but the view behind if you see the view behind i'm standing on the door of my van so i can get a little bit higher but if you can see this view there the view behind there is absolutely fantastic and makes a really really good panoramic shot if you can get your tripod high enough but yeah this is a location where you can park your car up for five minutes come and just have a quick view if you can get here early in the morning or late in the evening you'll probably find you get a better view across to the mountains but yeah just a bit of a bonus one I'll put an image up somewhere along the bottom that I took here some time ago and uh, I've been really pleased with it it's been a fantastic image um, full panoramic shot at 100 mil uh, shot at 400 mil I think it was um, so yeah just wanted to finish off with that one so if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more sort of stuff like this Check out some of my other videos and uh, please like and subscribe and don't forget, give us a thumbs up. It always means a lot to the channel and helps the channel um, as and when it can. Um, so till next time and the next one I do and something more interesting or different, take care. Ciao for now and see you soon.